Okay, this is the uh, engine compartment of a 1967 Chevrolet Camaro. Uh, this guy still, uh, according to what we see here, has a YR engine code on it. Uh, there are no numbers on the pad. The uh, numbers sometimes were on, sometimes they weren't in the early uh, to late 60s. They actually didn't really start putting them on definitively till about 68, I guess it was, 69. But it has a, a dual plane, aluminum Edelbrock intake manifold, a dual feed Holley carburetor, vacuum secondaries, 14 inch unsilenced air cleaner, nice set of chrome Chevy valve pan covers with some uh, 327 identification on it because that's what this guy is. Um, newer chrome alternator on it. Factory air conditioning with all new hookup. You can see all the new lines and everything that were uh, associated with the air conditioning system. So it does have factory air on it. Has power steering, does not have power brakes, however it does have a dual stage master cylinder on it. Coil is mounted on the um, uh, fender well as opposed to the uh, back of the engine. Saves a little bit of uh, wear and tear on it, keeps the heat away from it. Set of high silicone plug wires and MS3, MSD billet distributor in it and also an MSD ignition system module with it. So we have a nice, uh, nice well-rounded engine here. Uh, these things made very substantial power. I don't know the actual horsepower output. I'm going to guess it's going to be somewhere right around 300, very close, if not over. Um, it, uh, it, it has its original uh, fan shroud on it. It has a flex fan on it as opposed to a clutch fan. The original uh, washer bottle is still intact with it. Uh, the engine compartment shows originality everywhere, uh, other than, of course, the uh, chrome valve pan covers and uh, intake carb stuff. But um, the uh, radiator core support is undisrupted. There's never been any damage uh, it was subjected to. The um, condenser in the front of the radiator is nice and clean, no denser marks or anything on it. High flow uh, radiator with the correct style hoses on it, top and bottom. So it has a nice, clean, original. Uh, type engine compartment with what I can see a YR engine code designating it as a 327 from 6768 era so um, some originality here we'll go around the rest of it and show you what we can okay we're going to present to you a 1967 Camaro uh, really great looking car this thing has a lot of uh, a lot of appeal to it the paint on it is much better than a driver quality paint job and you can see the fit and the finish on this car is just really exemplary. Nice gap from fender to the hood to the front valance here, the header panel, and the um, uh, fender and hood on this side. It's a coal induction hood. This was not a standard hood in uh, 1967. They actually weren't on a car production-wise until 69. It has the correct style bumblebee stripe across the front. It's been cleared over. You can see it, but you can't feel it. So the car does have a base coat, clear coat finish to it from what I can tell. Uh, it is an RS car. This thing does have the peekaboo headlights on it, um, and they are functional. The uh, front uh, uh, valance underneath the uh, bumper is nice. There's no pull marks or anything on it. Of course, it does have a spoiler on it. There are no breaks or tears whatsoever on the spoiler. The uh, front bumper alignment appears to be really good. The chrome on it is very, very nice. There are no scuffs or marks or anything whatsoever on the front of this bumper, uh, just from wear and tear through the years. Uh, going down the side of the car, uh, it does have the wheel lip moldings on it. Set of 15-inch uh, rally wheels with, guess what? Firestone wide oval, correct for this year, style tires. This is the tire... Uh, that would have been on this car as an option in 1967. Uh, great fit, look at this, see this? Look at this, this is as nice as it gets. You just can't get any better than that. Tinted windshield in the front and on the sides also, I'm gonna call them, uh, because it does have air conditioning. Obviously it does have a vinyl top. It appears to be original too, I can't really tell. There's no marks or anything on it, but it does show a lot of originality. Trim around the window, there's no marks or anything on it. Wiper arms and blades correct for the car. Uh, nice padded dash on it and the transitional piece that goes, the metal piece that goes from the padded part to the base of the windshield, nice and clean and clear. Uh, this is usually deteriorated with uh, some patina uh, through the years. This car absolutely has none. It's very, very nice uh, fitment and no uh, marks on the uh, uh, chrome. And it has a mirror for the, uh, correct style mirror for the uh, uh, driver's side door. 
nice new wife's whiskers. Look at the window fitment on this guy. Huh? It doesn't get any better than that. The, um, yeah, there's a mark there. I was going to say there's no marks on it, but you can see it. There's something, a broom or something fell against it somewhere through the years. Chrome on the door handle is nice as you'd ever hope to find. And look at the door fitment again and the gap. Can open this guy up a little bit here. Door panels are really nice, molded armrests just the way they should be. Uh, someone's put a uh, leather wrap around the uh, uh, steering wheel, but it does have the correct style steering wheel with a tack mounted on the uh, steering column. A uh, set of auxiliary gauges underneath the dashboard. The correct style deluxe interior in the car, just very, very nice and clean uh, gauge, and all the chrome on the uh, dashboard appears to be nice and original. Um, your door sills are nice. They've been replaced, apparently, or they could be original. I can't really tell, but they, uh, they're in excellent condition. Door jams and the VIN tag, which is nice and legible. Devin will give you a good uh, high-resolution photo of that also. And underneath the hood, which I forgot to mention, does still retain its uh, uh, cowl tag also. Again, inside the door jams, the rubbers, everything is just as fresh and clean as you'd hope to ever find on a car. Nice door closure. Uh, back window, hat rack, uh, again the back window trim is just as nice as could be, no hammer marks or anything on it anywhere, has a set of auxiliary speakers in there, but the, the uh, hat rack itself is very, very nice. The uh, wheels and tires are excellent on this car, they look fantastic. I'm going to call them, that are sixes or sevens in the front, they're definitely eights in the back. Uh, the uh, correct style for 67 short hats that were... Um, Standard equipment on this car. Paint on the side, we still haven't found a mark or a chip or a ding in this car. Again, look at the uh, gap around the uh, rear deck. Just as fresh and clean as you'd ever hope to find. The correct 4RS uh, basils around the uh, taillight assemblies, which are solid uh, taillights. Uh, with an RS, you get your backup lights underneath the rear bumper, and that's uh, correct for the car, and that's where they are. Back bumper, again, no scuffs or marks or or pushes on it anything whatsoever. RS designation on the gas cap the way it should be. Original type spare tire. In fact, it is original spare tire. It needs some air in it, but uh, it is a good year. Buy supply tire back from the era. Has the original jack and base for it also. You can see the uh, trunk area itself is very clean. Very, very nice condition. Look at this. This is the original jack instructions yet. This hasn't been replaced. They're original jack instructions, so that means this is original paint under here yet. Really a great looking car. Really a nice looking car. Okay, down the passenger side. I have a feeling it's going to be just like the driver's side. Uh, again, wheel lip moldings are real nice. What's this? Dirt. Uh, a <laughs> little grease mark. Uh, again, the vinyl top is really nice on this car. There's no... Uh, um, little indentures or little perforations or anything in the back part of it, the little raised, raised areas where sometimes rust will start. And this car has none. This, uh, nobody threw any uh, brooms against this one, so this uh, drip molding is really, really nice. Chrome is fantastic on uh, this wing also. Correct mirror for the right-hand side. And Dev is going to show you a lot of high-resolution pictures of this entire vehicle, undercarriage, interior, everything, so that you can see absolutely everything that we're pointing out to you now. Everything appears to be correct in this car. In fact, it has seat belts in the front. I don't see any in the rear, but there are definitely seat belts in the front. Correct uh, style shifter and uh, console for the car. Nice closure. Again, look at this window. It can't get any better than that. Door gap. Front and rear, just as nice as you'd hope to find. Single mast antenna. Um, Corvette flags, 327 designation. And we're back where we started again. Um, this thing's a 1967 Camaro. It's the correct color that it was born with. It has a black interior, deluxe interior, factory air conditioning, power steering, um, console buckets, gauges, the original style Firestone uh, wide oval uh, white letter tires that it was born with. Uh, just a fantastic looking car, really great condition. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do a, a, a video underneath the car so you'll be able to see it. And again, Devin's going to show you pictures 
tons of pictures of everything that we're going over right now. So you know exactly what you're getting here at Hangsters whenever you purchase a car. We try to go over these as best we can, you know, in the limited time that we have. But we encourage everyone to come down and look at them in person. You know, we were really busy this uh, uh, Saturday. Actually, we had three cars out uh, a test driving them this Saturday, showing them to customers. And that's what we prefer. But we know you can't do that all the time. You know, you're in Maine or in Oregon or Washington State. So we're trying to give you as much information as we possibly can to help you in your purchase, your decision of purchasing a car here at Hangster. So we're going to move forward and do the undercarriage and go for a ride. Okay, this is the uh, underside of a 1967 Gold uh, Camaro. A really nice original condition car. Fantastic car. Ah, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. New springs in the front, uh, new ball joints, um, new uh, pitman arm, new idler arm. Uh, appears to be a reconditioned steering box in it also, I can't tell you for sure, but you can see the engine has been out and completely uh, rebuilt. It has been completely addressed. Uh, absolute brand new starter on it. It has a um, spin-on cartridge oil filter which is correct for 1967 does not have the old uh, canister type it has the uh, cartridge insert does not have a shield around the uh, torque converter and the uh, flex plate turbo tranny in it subframes in the front are just as clean and nice and, and neat as you could ever hope to find on any car floor pans are the original floor pans they have not been replaced nor do they need to be uh, cast iron exhaust manifolds, another originality point on this car. Goes into, I'm going to call them two, two inch primary pipes coming off the uh, cast iron manifolds. Uh, floor pans, again, are just as fresh and nice as you'd hope to find. They uh, uh, have the original splatter undercoating that GM offered on these cars whenever they released them back in the uh, uh, middle, late 60s. The uh, mufflers are an under chassis style. Uh, just a conventional muffler. They have a nice tone to them, a shorty muffler. The uh, springs in the back are um, mono leaf, which would be correct for 1967. Uh, uh, brand new shocks in the back of this thing, and they are air shocks, and they are brand spanking new. Um, drum brakes in the front, drum brakes in the back. Torque boxes in the front of the spring here are nice. They're not disrupted in any way. Again, you can look again, you can see all the uh, uh, subframe under, under partings that uh, there's absolutely no dents whatsoever on them. Floor pans still have the original pinch welds to the uh, rocker panels, just the way they were when they were new. Parking brakes still hooked up and functional. Dead bolt uh, Chevy rear, the way this guy would have come with a 327 in it. Gas tank is original. Looks like somebody got mad and punched it right there, but it, it's kind of a very slight curvature to it. You may not see it in the photos, but I'm telling you, it is there. This certainly has nothing to do with the uh, operational capabilities of it. The uh, pipes coming out the back, I'm going to call them two inch also, and they exit uh, about halfway back on the uh, drop downs and the quarters, which are the original drop downs. You can see that that's totally undisrupted, as is the uh, wheel wells in the trunk in the back, and the uh, floor pants over the uh, rear differential. Everything on this car underneath appears to be original as it was in 1967. Not that it's going to stay that way, but you can see at this point anyway, it does not have any leaks on the engine, the uh, bell housing area, the transmission, or the uh, tail shaft of the transmission, or the uh, speedometer gear. At this point, it is not leaking, but it's a muscle car. If it isn't leaking this year, it will be next year. Um, it's a nice original looking car underneath. We're going to go for a ride and see what we can show you. We are a 67 Camaro, gold one with a Kyle induction hood. Other than that, everything appears to be original on this car. Now the horn works just like it should. Tachometer is uh, aftermarket, but it is also working as it should. The uh, turn signal, the left one, is beating itself to death over here, and so is the right one on this quadrant here. So. Gas gauge is functioning. Jeff gave us uh, yeah, about an eighth of a tank of fuel in this guy. I'm sure the speedometer will work once we get started, but the wipers are functioning as they should. Oh, let's see here. We got horn wipers and everything else. We got a, a trio of gauges down here. Water temperature just starting to come up. Uh, the oil pressure holding nice hold. Uh, uh, high oil pressure, uh, about 60 pounds, pretty close. 
and we got an amp gauge just working away. Air conditioning, nice feature on this guy. Let's see if it works here. I heard the compressor kick on out front, drag the motor down a little bit, but yep, we got icicles. Very good. Good point to have here in Florida. Let's see if a radio works. Is a dangerous man. Are you kidding me? A you radio works. How about that? We got a radio that works. Um, I think that's about it. Got gears on both sides. Got a three-speed tranny in this thing, turbo 350. We're going to go for a ride, see what it performs like. Okay, nice tight car. Speedometer is working as it should. We're up to about 45 mile an hour here in a 35 zone. But we'll try to double that shortly here. Um, nice tight car. It, it, uh, the steering is very responsive. It has a new steering box on it. Uh, it goes down the road straight as an arrow. You know, just a real nice straight running car. We've got a big bus behind us here. Uh, I'll try to brakes once we get up uh, our turnaround point. But nice tight car. There's no looseness whatsoever. The steering, no rattles, no shakes, no squeaks, absolutely nothing. Interior light on. Shut it off. Nice tight car. Very, very nice. Uh, tracks well. We're going to try the brakes here now. Hands. And I got my right turn signal on and it stops straight as can possibly be. So we're going to swing in here and give this guy a little shot so you can hear what it sounds like. This guy a little shot here. Somebody's put a shift kit in this guy, and it has nice, solid, firm shifts. You can hear that it cracked the uh, tires loose in second gear. It is a three-speed. Uh, we didn't attack it out in second gear the whole way. Um, nice running car. Very, very tight. Um, nice steering response. Uh, a lot of nice features in this. This is a nice added feature I really like on a Camaro. They don't come with uh, chrome... Uh, covers on here, but it really adds a lot of class to the car, whether it's a convertible or a hard top, to add these guys to it, it really looks good. It's a nice tight car, it goes down the road, hang it right here, straight as can be, just a really, really nice straight running car. Um, whoever gets this is going to get a nice Camaro, it has a great color combination to it, it has the uh, correct engine for the car, the, the engine that the car was released with, it's just a very nice 67 Camaro with a coal induction hood on it and uh, rally wheels and what else would you want in a Camaro? It's got it all. It's got everything it wants.